Hey guys, it's Greg here. Um, I just want to do a quick uh, post because I'm currently reading uh, Plato's Republic and there was an idea came up in it about what he refers to as representation. Uh, the difference between someone telling a narrative story where they're describing someone else and talking as though they are the character almost becoming the character and, as he says, uh, assimilating themselves to their tone of voice and who they are as a character. And it reminded me of um, something that came up for me back in the day uh, when I was in my former band, Stone Kings, um, because I used to write uh, lyrics that were often in the tone of a character Sometimes it was me or it was a version of me. Um, I mean, one particular example I can think of is stuff like off the first album, Crazy Again. And um, I had a kind of, what's the word? Almost a crisis. Not, I don't know about crisis of conscience, but a, back in sort of like 2012, I started thinking about um, different ideas about this and whether singing in even just singing a song but taking on the voice of a character as Plato calls it representation uh would affect you then as a person because I wrote that song when I wasn't in a great place um and it was about you know um alcoholism and being a bit of a wreck in general and um Obviously, every time I did a gig or a rehearsal, I was re-singing those lyrics and reinforcing that I've gone crazy again. Um, although it says envy of all my friends, really, it was just about, you know, like almost trying to um, exaggerate the greatness of being a wreckhead, basically, at the time. And uh, <laughs> it was almost like trying to prop myself up for being so damaged. Um, which is quite an honest thing to say, but that is what it is. So, um, so yeah, so it kind of, it kind of got to me at this point because obviously Stone King started in like early 2010, and that song had been around since very early on. So I'd been singing that song a lot, and that, this is only one example. There's other songs that you know, I mean, particularly when we get to like the later out the last album we did i mean that it's a lot of it is completely character based and the characters on that are, like some of them are completely insane um and so it was getting to me even as far back as 2012 but then later on whether singing these songs about these damaged characters was actually affecting me in my regular life um and just reading this book now i mean it's something that i'd considered in the past but never really actually pinpointed before so i just wanted to kind of do a little thing about it because I think it is an interesting idea and it, origi it originally came into my mind and I started thinking about it when back at the end of 2011 I kind of got into like spirituality and things like that um, for a while I mean I still dip my toe in on and off but I'm not quite as um, founded in it as I was at that time I was completely submerged myself in it for a while um, but yeah, one of the ideas that came up from that is the things that you say or write um, influence, have an influence, have an impact uh, even on yourself. And so if you keep reading something or keep putting an influence into your head, what you put in is what comes out in your life. You know, I mean, there's another theory I've read that says that 100 percent of what you have in your head is 100 percent of what you will see in your reality. Like we create every aspect of our reality, but that's another subject but just the idea that if you say things that are slightly negative in a song will that affect you personally or I say slightly negative you know what I mean like there's you know I did songs like um Captive Audience which was from the perspective of James Holmes and things like that so I covered some quite dark ground in my lyrics in the end and it's it's hard to say because like there's a train of thought that's like no it's just a song it's just lyrics you know it won't affect someone like that but at the same time, when you're almost like, as Plato talks about representation, portraying a character in a song, and especially when you're up on the stage, really trying to give it the big one, balling out the lyrics, it's like, does that affect you mentally? And I think it does to a degree. I think there is an element of 
you know, what you're portraying and putting yourself into the mindset of, even if just for a five minute song or less, um, has an effect, an impact. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to talk briefly about the fact that that idea has come up for me a couple of times, um, or more than a couple of times. I mean, even back in 2012, I, I was wondering whether to even continue because this idea had come up and because I was getting so heavily into spirituality and that but I ended up deciding I did want to because I wanted to keep making music and w was enjoying being in a band at that point so um yeah it's it's just one of those things and it's uh, I don't necessarily have an actual answer for it it's I think to a degree it does affect you if you write say if you were to write a character who was completely mad and like you know had dark characteristics and negative traits and negative perspectives i think to repeat the words that 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 you put into that character's mouth again and again or even if you were a writer to read those words again and again i think it could affect you mentally and it could um you know have an adverse effect on you um which was one of many reasons that probably eventually led me to you know do something else but um I don't know, man, it's like, I think, I do also think that music is therapeutic, and I think, that, you know, being a vocalist, or at least in the past having been a vocalist, um, you know, sometimes you have to let that stuff out, <laughs> because it obviously comes from somewhere, you don't just, you know, create these things for no reason, I think sometimes you either, I don't know, almost channel it, or it comes from somewhere, um, and it's a way of getting that stuff out, but... It's whether, when it's out, what you know, what effect does it have then? And obviously, you know, there's been things come up in the past about, you know, like even lawsuits against art, against artists for, you know, particularly I think, you know, of like Marilyn Manson being a target of it. You know, people saying like, oh, your lyrics caused, you know, I mean, they've said that his lyrics have caused complete atrocities, and what, you know, I think there's some give and take there as to whether that's actually what caused it. I think there was other other factors there for sure just apart from the fact that they may or may not have listened to some of his music but but i do think it is a real thing though that regardless of stuff like that which is a much more sort of serious you know situation whether you know just saying these things in songs does affect somebody and do, particularly in my case i think of it as like does it affect the artist who writes the songs because you know i was the person in that situation um so yeah, it's just one of those things that I thought about and it'd be interesting to hear any feedback on it, you know, like if anyone else has been in this position about, you know, having written lyrics and then have found themselves obviously at rehearsals and, and gigs having to sing these lyrics or repeat these lyrics again and again and again and whether they, they felt actually I was in this place at this time but I'm not anymore but repeating these lyrics is almost keeping me in this place and not allowing me to get better almost it almost becomes untherapeutic and detrimental and that's the point where i think like do i even want to keep singing this song you know and i'll still write songs now sometimes and i'll and i'll look at it and think you know later like <laughs> is that really beneficial to be repeating those lyrics but sometimes you just got to let it out but um it was just an idea that came to me and something i wanted to talk about briefly just because i've been reading this book and it's a very interesting book actually it's um Plato's Republic and it's uh, him putting his words ironically he's actually putting his words through the character of Socrates who was his mentor like a long time ago and it's written from Socrates perspective so technically he's using representation all through the book because he's speaking like he's Socrates um, so it's almost like a concept within a concept where he's he's talking about should we allow the people in this republic he's trying to create to use representation or just use a regular narrative form when they're talking about it though it was someone else and retelling a story rather than being the character and yet in doing that he is being a character to get that idea across so that's interesting but yeah i just thought i'd talk about that for a minute don't really have much else to say on that at the moment just wanted to put that idea out because i think it is an important idea um you know do, do the lyrics we write or the things we write say as a narrator or even a storyteller um what effect do they have once they're written or once they're performed 
um, not just whether it's in a book that people will read or in an album that people will listen to, but when you're that writer and you're rereading what you wrote or going over the lines again and again to get it right, it's having an influence on you. And the same if you're a lyricist or a singer, you're up there singing those lyrics again and again, and it's having an influence on you. So, um, yeah, just kind of a thing that I thought about and reading that book really sparked it sort of back into my head because I hadn't thought about it in a while. But yeah, when I think back to the other song, you know, songs like Armageddon. I mean, I think I still think Armageddon is a quite a cool rock song, but the perspective of it is extremely negative. It's like, you know, like the world is ending and I just want to curl up in a ball in this hole and let it end. And I can kind of see that. It's almost more relevant than ever, that song, because that's how kind of how a lot of people feel at the moment with everything that's going on. But um, But at the same time, it's like... It's, it's difficult because on the one hand it gives people and a lot of people say this about metal you know and a lot of people that don't like metal think that it's you know negative and angry but some people say that that's therapeutic because it lets out something that those people otherwise wouldn't be able to let out and it also gives people who feel like that already something to hold on to and like get through you know their day with that power with that music and those lyrics and then on the other hand, you know, there's there's people that think actually it's it's damaging because it's reinforcing a negative perspective and an angry worldview. So it's, there's good and bad about it. And it's and I'm not here to say it's one or the other, but I just think it's an interesting concept. And it's something that has come up for me again and again, being that I was involved in the sort of rock metal scene and have been a lyricist writer uh, and singer in the past. So and may well again be at some point, but at the moment it's, yeah. But, um, yeah, just wanted to say those things and uh, get those ideas out. Any comments, you know, feel free to leave them um, on the video. But, yeah, just wanted to um, put that across while I was thinking about it. Hope everyone out there is okay anyway. Thanks, everyone. Peace out.